Hi, my name is Kyle Lyon. I'm a pre-sales engineer here at Solutions PT. And in today's episode of Tech Bytes, we're going to be looking into how to historize your tags in the later versions of InTouch. Specifically here, we're talking about InTouch 2020. So previously, when we were using older versions of InTouch, Historian would have to pull the tags from InTouch, which usually required a manual setup of an IDAS driver within here. And you'd then have to create the driver, a PLC topic, and then actually create some tags within the historian to map to your InTouch tags. And this would necessitate things like pulling through the naming, providing a description for the tag within historian, the minimum and maximum, engineering units, item names, Modbus registers, and chosen storage method, for example, cyclic or delta. And then we'd have to map the InTouch tags onto these created historian tags. Now the tag import utility became available later, which expedited this process, but it still had us pulling that information from InTouch. So what this means is if the historian went down for whatever reason, that data for the down period wouldn't be in the historian and you'd have a, a gap in your trends, in your um, data that you're pulling through from the likes in to the likes of Excel. And you'd either have to look at local InTouch trends or backfill the data by extracting it from either the actual end device or from the local trending into a CSV and then importing these into the historian. Now, however, it's much simpler. And I'll show you how we do it now. So now what we can do is we can go into Window Maker and go configure historical logging. And we've, in the later versions of InTouch from 2020 onwards, we've got the ability to define a historian within the actual InTouch. Now, when we define this here, we, you can see that we can set up a store and forward directory. This is because this now uses the HCAL technology, which was previously exclusive to system platform and application server. And what this now enables is that InTouch can push those tag updates to the historian rather than historian pulling the tag information from InTouch. This method now allows for a greater level of fault tolerance. In the event either the historian or the network between the InTouch node and the historian goes down, InTouch will enter a storm forward mode and buffer all that data locally until the connection is restored. And it will continue checking to see if that connection is restored or not and only forward that data in a parallel stream when it is. What this means is that we can eliminate gaps in our data, in our trends, because we'll have the data sent through in parallel once that connection is restored. This also enables methods of completely eliminating single points of failure in data flows all the way down from PLCs and end devices to the historian and then out to other places that that historian is servicing for example, a tier two historian or clients on the corporate end. And this ensures no data loss for those critical applications and industries that can't afford to suffer loss of data due to downtime. For example, pharmaceutical or um, those who are adherent to FDA standards. Now this is just one of the many reasons to consider getting your SCADA up to date on the latest versions. Start taking advantage of these new features and the benefits that they can bring to your organization. If you're interested to learn more or would like to discuss uh, how to go about upgrading, including risk assessment packages or embedded consultancy to streamline the process, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us at Solutions PT. Thanks for watching and have a great day.